And these businesses in digital innovation use as their Bible, you might say, this book called The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. It's used in Silicon Valley for all those startups. If you want to build the killer app and get investment for it and become a multimillionaire, you're likely using the methodology of the lean startup. But it's not just for technology startups. This is a methodology we can use in any innovation. If you, as a travel agent, want to set up a, a little project or a, a side business or experiment with a new service, you could use this methodology. It can be used for huge new businesses or for relatively small projects. And the key concepts within it are the minimum valuable product. In other words, if you're building an app, don't spend three years perfecting it before you release it to the market. You come up with the raw goods, shall we say the prototype, the bare bones, something that just about works. And then, crucially, you give it to the customers. You tell people, have a go, use it, try it, tell us what you think. And in that way, you can get feedback, you can get engagement. And this is what investors are looking for, because this is the acid test about whether a project is going to go ahead. Has it got traction? This is the word they use. Okay, you've got a startup. That's great. Is it going well? Sure, you say. What traction have you got? I ask. And what I'm asking is how many people are using it and engaging with it? Maybe not paying customers. That doesn't matter at this stage, but how many people are actually using it, engaging with it, playing with it? Because that shows that it's of some interest and some use to somebody. And if we've got traction, we're onto something and we can invest further. But what we find at that stage is that customers are unpredictable. I'm going to come back to this later. Customers. We cannot predict what they think and how they act. So imagine you've got the killer app. It's a weather forecasting app, and it's going to be used by mountaineers all over the world. It's going to be the killer app for weather forecasting for mountaineers. You put it out there into the community. You let people have a go with it. And what do you find? Mountaineers don't use it. Hmm. But hang on a minute. Gardeners are crazy about it. That was a surprise. And so we then change direction. We pivot. We change tack from mountaineers to gardeners. And then we ask gardeners what else they would like. And we develop it in partnership with them so that we have a, not just a minimum viable product, but a commercially viable product. Something that's fuller, more complete. And then we can make money. But this methodology is also about failing fast. We have an idea, we put it out there, minimum viable product, we don't get the traction, nobody's interested, we stop. And we stop, we fail fast before we spend too much money, before we spend too much time or energy, and we start again. We think of another one. So this is the methodology of the lean startup, and I think it's a methodology that, with some adaptation, can be used by any new idea in business, any new branch or service or completely new company, or even an innovation within an existing company.